Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bowhunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkovi. Today we're going to talk about this right here. Many of you guys ask me questions on this. This is my survival kit. This kit goes with me everywhere I go in my pack. It is about the size of a cell phone, weighs about the size of a cell phone, and it's everything I need to spend a night or two in the woods or protect me from being lost, protect me from a lot of things out there. So let's open it and see what's in there. Now I'm opening it because I'm about to replace some of the stuff that's in there. I haven't been in there since last hunting season. Last season I did use a few different things out of here and I pulled a few things out as well when I was doing other uh, informational things. So we're going to kind of co- break it apart, cover, and I do got to replace some stuff that's in here. But I do put extra rubber bands on here. Uh, it keeps it all nice and neat, plus it gives me a source of extra rubber bands. The Ziploc bags are also very important because they are water containers for me. So I have double Ziploc bags. These are one quart bags, Ziploc, and I use them because again, they are actually a water holding source for me and I have two of them. So that's actually a water bag right there that I could use. That's another water bag right there. If I needed to, I can use. So those are very important for me. Now in here, let's just dump it all right out. Cause like I said, I got to replace this stuff anyway. So. I carry gauze pad right here. In case of any bleeding, I have that right there and I can use it. It is sterile, it is clean, it is simple, and it weighs nothing. So I carry one of them. This, another roll of gauze right here as well too, but I can also wrap it around and take this and rip it open and actually wrap it and use it to be able to uh, tie off that if I need to or anything like that. So it comes in very handy. Now, another thing I have here, notice I have two survival blankets, two mylar blankets. Why? Because one is good. I can use it for a cover over top of me to protect me from the elements, rain, things like that. I can wrap up and warm up with the other one. If I don't have bad weather and rain, I can use one as a reflector on the backside of a fire to warm me and cover up with the other one. I can use one to sit on. I can use one that if I need to, I can take it and lay it out and use it on the ground to uh, protect my meat. If I'm actually laying meat out and working on animals if I need to. So there's a million uses for them. And as you can see, very compact way next to nothing. This right here is something that I made back in 1990. Does it have a date? Yes it does. Right down there in the bottom corner says it right there. Jason Sam Kovac 1998 was when I actually built this. This is the first aid instructions. It covers everything from unconscious, not breathing, blocked airway, choking, um, impaled object, chest puncture, bleeding, shock, burn, CPR for adult, CPR for child, eye trauma, nose bleeds, bone injuries, head neck injuries, poison, insect bites, snake bites, heat sickness, frostbite, hypothermia, uh, medical use, medication uses is for water purification, hydrocortisone, ibuprofen, neosporin, Benadryl, um, Imodium, and on the back, it deals with pressure points on here and explains things to stop bleeding and be able to use apply tourniquets and stuff like that. Made it, like I said, 1998. I've been carrying this ever since, um, and I have multiple copies of it that I take and I can print out and, and save if one gets damaged, but I always carry that with me. I can take that and throw it right down on somebody's chest and do whatever I need to and I have that information handy. I don't get shell shock or caught off guard and be in trouble and not have the information. It's all right there for me. Sweet, simple, and easy. Dental floss, whole roll of it. Take your container of dental floss, wax dental floss so that it actually holds together well. Bust the container open and take the whole entire roll right out just like that. Very handy, many, many uses, weighs next to nothing. Spare lighter, always good to have a spare lighter. You can never have enough lighters. When it comes to lighters, one is none, two is one, three is good. Okay, period. You should have lighters everywhere. Of course, I'm going to have one in my survival kit. Um, safety pin. Comes in handy for a lot of different things. So I keep that in here. Oh, look at that, another one. Spare compass, very teeny tiny little compass, but it is a spare compass. This means that I'm carrying two compasses with me at all times, one on me, and then I always have this one in my kit if something were to happen and I lost it. Band-Aids, three Band-Aids, why? Because they're easy, they weigh nothing. I never understood why people don't carry Band-Aids. They're sweet, they're simple, two Band-Aids, sorry. Um, Probably usually carry three, so I probably used one already. But they're very easy, very effective, and you know what? You cut your finger, it's just better. I don't need to prove nothing about using duct tape or anything like that. A Band-Aid works great, so I carry a couple of Band-Aids. I do carry duct tape right here. That much, simple, little roll I made myself by just peeling it off there and rolling it around itself, but I'm guessing there's probably 20, 25 feet of duct tape right there. Comes in handy for many, many uses. Doesn't weigh much or take up much space. Little bitty thing of super glue. Okay, never even used yet. The cap hasn't been punctured on there. It is a brand new container of super glue, not yet used, um, that if I need it for sealing cuts, 
mainly is what I have it for, sealing cuts, but if I have to glue an insert back in, uh, glue a broad head on something, anything I need to do, I have glue right there that I can use for that. So just a little bitty thing of super glue. Um, pills. I have a variety of pills in here. Uh, I have, and I, I got to go through this now and update because pills expire, but I have the pills that I mentioned on here. I have Imodium in here for diarrhea. I have, uh, um, I have ibuprofen. I have some bare aspirin in there too, just in case. You never know. Bare aspirin, I guess, is really good if somebody's having a stroke or heart attack. I guess if you pump them full of bare aspirin, it, you know, it really helps extend that. Um, there's, uh, there's a bunch of different things in here. I think there's two or three Tums in there in case of heartburn. So there's some pills and I keep them all together in one in this little container. It's a very old, this expired in 2012 is when this expired. Uh, but that's not what's in there. It's just a variety of pills in a simple little container that I can carry. This is my, um, it is PJ cotton balls, petroleum jelly cotton balls. This is very small little cotton ball tinder. Um, there's like six or eight of them in there that are half a cotton balls that are filled with, you've seen them before. I've done other videos on them. That is my stuff that I need in case I have to make a fire. That is my tinder set right there as well too. And then these are MSR, these are waterproof uh, water tablets. Okay, so I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, um, five tablets in here. These don't expire for another year, so that's a fantastic thing in there, so I can get one more whole year out of them. But they are water tablets, so I can use to purify water. So if I have to get drinking water, I can take this bag, bring it down to any water source, fill that bag full, drop tablets in there, and then seal that up, let them sit there for a little while, 20 minutes later, they're ready for me to drink out of. So again, I have my water sources covered while I'm out there. So that's the stuff I carry. The one thing I'm going to add to this kit now this year, because uh, right now I just got it floating loose in my bag, but after learning that, uh, uh, that, that match that I used, that I showed you in the uh, Tips to Save Your Life in the Woods video that I did, uh, a few, as you're seeing this probably about a couple months ago, uh, but it was called Tips to Save Your Life in the Woods. Fantastic video. I showed you how to make that, um, that, um, uh, did it, fat wood match, okay, to s start a fire in wet weather, things like that. This thing is amazing. So in my pack, I've been carrying that piece of fire, that piece of fat wood, stick of fat wood. Well, that stick of fat wood is going to now be cut. Uh, there'll be two of them about yay long, about the width of that bag, that long, two pieces of fat wood that are going to go in this as well too because it's just such a powerful tool. So that's what I carry in this kit. That is my survival kit. I don't need anything more than that. I have it all right there, but that will let me survive in the woods comfortably, do whatever I need to do. The more you know, the less you need. You may need a bigger kit, smaller kit. Maybe you know more than me. Maybe you're tougher than me. doesn't matter. You set your own up, but that is the stuff that I carry in my kit. I will put some links down below for you on some of this stuff if I can find it in there for you, but most of it you can source from your own medicine cabinet and locally, but I will try and put a few things in there to make it easier for you, but there you go. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.